Falkirk TV is proudly sponsored by GM Landscape UK. John, a big game this Sunday. Um, imagine the toughest opponent we'll, we'll face in, uh, in some time. Um, big one away at Celtic Park. Um, just get your thoughts ahead of, ahead of that one and, and how this week's been preparing for it. Yeah, well, no doubt we're playing the Champions of Scotland. Uh, they've started the season incredibly well. We probably even beyond their maybe expectation the way they've started. They obviously got high standards and they're always looking to always get better and better. And they brought a lot of players in, uh, some of them quite late in the window, who were still to probably impress. Although there were still impressive performances uh, against Hearts from from a couple of them who came on and got the goals in the game. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, a big test for us. It's one we've got to relish though. You know, we we're no going there like two or three times a season you know, in the league you can go there twice and you can maybe draw in a cup uh, you know so we're going there probably the only time this season and the only time in many seasons that we've probably been been at uh, Celtic Park so I think it's one that we can go and relish and enjoy uh, we go into it with confidence we have managed to beat two Premier League teams in Dundee United and Hearts on our way to get into this stage uh, that's got to give us confidence, albeit that it is another level to play Celtic, who are, uh, as I say, everyone knows they're champions and they've started the season so well and no lost a goal domestically, you know, as we speak. So even that is something that we want to try and maybe uh, get into, you know, can we go and work their goalkeeper a bit more than maybe in what he's been worked, you know? So uh, big test, but one that all our players will be looking forward to, one where they can test themselves a little bit, uh, or a big bit, but we'll be we need, we'll be prepared for it, and uh, you know, obviously we'll all need to play our best. Every single player is going to play it. Have to be at their absolute maximum. We're going to have to have to work so hard because Celtic play at such a pace, and they'll come at the blocks and they'll try to score in the opening minutes of the game and put you right in the back foot and get all the crowd behind them. And so we need to get over the periods. You know, that's first and foremost is no getting caught, no getting caught with the noise and being sort of uh, starstruck you know we've got to be focused we've got to be right on it and be prepared when that ball comes to your foot you know you know what you're going to do with it rather than hesitation because if we get the ball they'll be coming to get it back and uh, we've also we, we can do these things and in, in uh, League One last year and obviously in the Championship up, up to date and there's a lot of similarities but obviously they're paying big money for to get the players in that they, uh, they play and uh, that's the difference, you know, the, the quicker, sharper, clinical, lethal, you know, so we, uh, we'll we be up against it, but we're, we're, we're prepared for that, we, under, we understand that, there's no, no illusions in there. So how do you how do you go about preparing for that and, and training in, in the week leading up to that? Yeah, it's, it's similar to every week, but we know we're playing against uh, top opposition, so uh, we've started earlier and... Uh, the analysis is huge for us, it always is huge for us, the analysis. Trying to give the players the information that it's no surprise, that something in the game is not going to be a surprise, because we've kind of went over this, you've seen what they're going to do, we know what they're going to do in their build-up, we know what they're going to do in the wider areas, we know what they're going to do with regards to pressing and counter-pressing without the ball. But nonetheless, most teams know that, it's still stopping them. It's very difficult, it's very difficult, and we might try our utmost and still we'll be able to do it, because all the other Premier League teams are struggling to do it, so why should we? You know, but we give it a go. You give it a go, and that's what you do. You give it a go, and that's that's all you can ask. And I'm sure, as I say, continue to say, I think our players will relish the opportunity, the challenge, uh, and hopefully we can come out uh, with flying colours. Like you said, going into the game high on confidence as well, having known that we've already put out two Premiership sides on the on the way to the, the quarterfinals, um, but also kind of coming off the performance from from Saturday. Um, probably, you know, despite the scoreline it was probably one of the best performances from the guys all season. No, I was really pleased with the performance I thought all round it was a great performance I was delighted. A uh, real team performance, uh, we had loads of quality in it, loads and loads of quality and I'm sure if Peter Houston was watching us as I mentioned at the weekend to yourself in the interview afterwards you know, I think he would be impressed as well so uh, yeah, we go into it, we can't go into it in any better shape we are, we go, with regards to feel good factor confidence, momentum, all that. We've got injuries. We could be in a better position. We could have everyone fit. That would be nice, but we're not. And that happens, you know, it happens. When you're not carrying a big squad, then 
you know, uh, losing players as a as a consequence. But so far, so good with regards to when you know got players available, it's others got an opportunity and they've been taking that opportunity. And hopefully we can continue, continue to do that. We just have to hope that, uh, you know, we've got the same squad as last week. You know, even now we're nursing a couple of injuries that we hopefully will overcome, but I c- couldn't guarantee it. For, and that would be a blow if we can't even have the same kind of squad as we had. Obviously, Ryan Shanley suspended uh, due to the sending off against Hearts, so he, he, he won't be available at all, not even on the bench. So, uh, you know, we're down another body even at that, even at that stage. Uh, so hopefully we don't lose anyone else between now and three o'clock on Sunday. Just talking of players that are, are going to miss out, um, are you able to, to shed any light on Callum Morrison and how he's been doing? Callum's uh, been off for about three weeks now and um, he's, he's been in and out of hospital. Uh, picked up an illness. We've not really got to the bottom of it. Even the hospital, as I say, he's been in and out of, in and out of hospital. He's been a few days in hospital at the end of last week and uh, got out Saturday night and uh, I still know he's had loads of tests loads and loads of tests uh, but he's back home and uh, he's, he's got these sore heads and dizziness it's I'm not really coming to the bottom of it after he's had well loads of loads of tests uh, so it's it's not great it isn't great it's not a great situation at all and uh, we feel for Callum and I would, you know, I think all the fans, uh, it's, it's a private kind of situation as well. It's, it's, it's medically off ill. Uh, everyone's here to support him. Uh, the doctors, a club doctor has been helping Callum constantly. And obviously we have to work through the, the NHS, which I've done, as I say, the Fort Valley. He's been in Fort Valley a couple of times. Um, GP fairly regularly. Uh, we've no, no really found, no really got to the bottom of it as yet, but we're fingers crossed and you know, a message for every, all the fans to get behind Callum. On a slightly more positive note, um, Aidan Nesbitt, is he maybe a, a wee bit closer to coming back or is he a, another one that's potentially going to miss out this this weekend? We'd love to have uh, Aidan back. Yeah, we'd love to have Aidan back. We couldn't say with any certainty. It's really a strange one as well. He's, he can go so far and then he's breaking down and he feels all right and then he breaks down. So the medical team and uh, and, and Blair are, are uh, head of performance. They're, they're along with Cami and, and the medical team. That they're, they're they're working on it. They're, they've got a program that they're working to to try to get him up to his kind of maximum and then coming back down and going back up before he goes to that stage where he breaks down, even though he's feeling. So they're working on that. I couldn't say of any certainty that it'll be available on Sunday. And just lastly, um, we're going to have a, a large number of travelling supporters there and on Sunday, and I know Celtic Park's a, a big, big ground, um, but we'll have 2,500 fans there um, in full voice, I'm sure. Um, how important is that support going to be on, on the day? Yeah, they'll be huge. Yeah, they've been huge as they were. Yeah, every game we play, they've been great. I mean, we've had five, we know had five away games and the guys have backed us Everywhere, absolutely everywhere, spending big money to, to, to travel and to get in into the stadiums and, you know, what you buy when you're in a stadium and the support we've got, you know, it's costing them a lot of money. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll hear them on, on Sunday and get right behind the team. The guys will be doing everything they possibly can. Uh, and hopefully we, we can all enjoy the game as well. Yeah, we, we, we want to go there and, and soak up the atmosphere and play in that atmosphere and be able to express herself in that atmosphere. We you know it'll be difficult, but hopefully the fans will relate to that. Uh, again, a big thank you to everyone. It was at Airdrie, and uh, you can see by the responses that you were uh, more than happy uh, with the way that the, the, the players played and, and they performed and, uh, and, and got the result. Absolutely, John. Thank you very much, and all the best for Sunday. Thank you.